Right now, there are millions of parasites fighting over the right to ravage your body, just like hyenas and lions might fight over a rotting carcass. And these parasites form an ecosystem which is just as rich and complex as any rainforest or coral reef, and just as vulnerable to human resources, to human disturbances. You might think it's a great idea to take antibiotics anytime you're feeling sick, but the bacteria you're killing might be the only thing keeping that flesh-eating virus you contracted in Vegas from running out of control. The goals of my research are to understand how parasite interactions form complex communities and how these communities work together to either exacerbate or buffer dangerous epidemics. Some parasites are sneaky and attack their competitors with toxins. Others are generals who recruit allies or saboteurs who will directly attack the host's immune system. These interactions tie parasites into a dynamic system complete with checks, balances, and rules of operation. Establishing how parasite ecosystems do or do not follow the same rules as traditional ecosystems will allow us to better use community ecology to inform epidemiology. After all, you wouldn't study an anaconda outside of its rainforest, so why should you study a parasite in isolation? This information will be most valuable in patients with compromised immune systems who have to stave off multiple dangerous infections, or in countries with limited clean water resources, where epidemics happen against the background of multiple endemic waterborne diseases. So tonight, as you lay in bed, think about all the worms, viruses, and bacteria fighting over your body, and place your bets on who you think is going to come out on top.